Hi, welcome to Ask Phil number nine, I think now. And this week, we're just gonna talk a little bit about eggs, um, as in chicken eggs like this, two lovely eggs there, two different colors. Um, in the shop, all the time, we get asked questions about why is my chicken laying this funny shaped egg or why is my egg so small or why does it keep falling to bits or lots of questions about funny, funny shaped eggs. So let's answer some questions about funny shaped eggs. Right, to start off with, um, you've got to understand how chickens lay eggs um, through their life. When chickens first come in to lay, from not having laid eggs at all, they will probably lay what's called a wind egg first, which is a very tiny marble-shaped little egg, which is just the, the, um, the egg factory getting going. Okay? Then as they become pullets and start laying eggs properly, they'll lay pullets eggs. Now the yolk in a pullet's egg is about the same size as a yolk in a full-size chicken egg but it's just the rest of it around it isn't as big yet, again, because the mechanisms are getting themselves going. And then after a few weeks, maybe a month or two, they'll start laying full-sized chicken eggs, the ones that we love to have for breakfast. Now, what you will find is that chickens that are born later on in the year, and so come in to lay in winter, will probably lay full-size eggs straight away. And that's because they've just got that bit older before they start laying because of the shorter days. Chickens have one ovary working at any one time. Uh, the eggs uh, are stored in the ovary. Uh, they're then passed down uh, where they are fertilized and the, uh, the yolk even is built up over a period of about 10 days. Uh, this then comes down uh, to um, the magnum where there is a membrane put over the, the yolk, the inner and the outer membrane. And then the egg passes down into something called the ith, ith I can never say this, isthmus, as in a promontory, um, where the white is, is put on. It takes about an hour for the white to go onto an egg. Uh, and then from there, it passes on down uh, into the uterus, uh, where for a period of about 21 hours, the shell gland applies uh, a shell over the egg, which is, is a quite an amazing thing under a microscope. It looks like a sort of a, a woven mat. It's just applied all over it. Uh, and then from there, um, the hen will lay the egg through a vent, takes about a minute. Uh, so that's basically how a hen lays eggs. This fact, of course, that chickens only use one ovary at a time is why you can get a hen that will turn into a cockerel because sometimes if that ovary stops working, the other ovary will actually turn into testes and the, your chicken will become a cockerel, which surprises everyone and probably the chicken as well. As far as faults on your eggs are concerned, they come in many forms. Um, one of the most common is what's called white banding. So especially if you've got uh, a colored egg, like this, you'll get a, a, a white band uh, around the egg, maybe lighter at one end, then dark, and a band in the middle. Now what's happened there is that two eggs have been touching in the uterus. And so effectively they start to build two eggs together. And so you get this, this growth rate change in the middle. Um, now that can be caused by things like stress. Almost everything in a chicken can be caused by stress. Um, changes in lighting because the speed that chickens lay eggs is controlled by the hours of daylight. If you have artificial light in your hen house, then changes in lighting will, will, will affect that. And the other thing is a disease called infectious bronchitis, um, which is basically what it says it is, but that stresses the bird and causes this sort of banding. Another very common thing that you find, especially with young birds, is blood on the eggs. So there's actually blood stained eggs. Now this in young birds is caused by the fact that they've only just started laying eggs uh, and they've got to get a very big egg out of a very little bottom and so there's blood vessel damage and this sort of thing. Uh, obviously uncomfortable for the chicken but that's all it is uh, and it will only last a few days normally. Um, the other thing it can be is vent pecking. Uh, especially if you do have a bird that has a bit of a bleed around the vent or something like that, the other chickens will peck her because it's red. The chickens are attracted to red. And of course, the more they peck, the more it bleeds, the more problems you'll get. So she needs separating. 
Uh, the other thing that can cause this is a heavy mite or lice infestation, uh, which because they are bloodsuckers, um, leaves blood that goes onto your eggs. So if you get blood on your eggs, if they're older birds, always have a look to make sure that they haven't got mites or lice. Right, the next type of problem that we have is what's called a body checked egg. So you'll get a raised band around the middle of the egg. It looks like a, like a ring, like a rubber ring that's around the outside. Now what's happened is inside the hen, that egg, as it's being built, has broken and the body has then mended the egg. So basically the repair is where the lump is. Now, what causes that is stress, um, bullying or birds being sort of frightened or overcrowded. Um, obviously there's a delicate egg inside a chicken. So any sudden shock, big fall or being bullied can cause that delicate egg inside to break. And then you get this sort of um, uh, thing afterwards. And also you'll tend to get it more in older chickens as perhaps their eggshells become thinner, then they'll break more easily and, but you still get this repair ring, as it were, uh, around the outside. Um, now the next thing is just odd shaped eggs. You get eggs that are torpedo shaped or sort of like a pear drop or something like this. Now the main causes of this are things like um, an um, a defective shell gland. So in an older bird, it might not be working properly. The, the shell gland may be uh, actually um, not working properly or worn out. Um, or in a younger bird, it's just the fact that it's an immature shell gland. So it hasn't worked up to its full operating. Uh, I will apply all this shell on a sort of state yet. Uh, and so it's, it, it's failed there. Um, the next thing is infectious bronchitis again. This will crop up quite often. Infectious bronchitis shows itself a lot through, through the eggs. One of the most uh, other common things that we have are calcium deposits on the eggs. So it looks like there's sand stuck to it. There's little sort of blobby blobby bits on the outside of your eggs. Now, causes of that are, funnily enough, too much calcium, uh, which, which obviously just causes uh, uh, excess accretions on, on the eggs, um, a defective shell gland. So the actual gland that's laying the, laying the egg down is sort of uh, just sort of smattering at the end of its, egg, of its uh, shell making bit uh, or poor nutrition, um, not enough protein, this sort of thing, uh, low in uh, vitamins and minerals. So you need to make sure that you get your tonics in. Now, some of you have got chickens that lay green eggs, blue eggs, dark brown eggs, white eggs. Well, not so much in the white eggs, but all the others, sometimes you can get a poor pigmentation or complete lack of color in the eggs. Now there's quite a few causes for this. Um, one of the most interesting ones is a worm infestation. So if you do start to see the color of your uh, a chicken eggs changing, worm your chickens. It's a, it's a good thing to do straight away. Um, stress, again, will cause almost anything in a chicken. Feeding um, your chickens on a feed with a coccidostat in it, so it's already got uh, treatment for coccidiosis within the feed. Uh, an excess of that can cause a lack of pigmentation in your eggs. Uh, viral infections such as infectious uh, influenza, um, avian influenza, Newcastle disease, all these will cause uh, pigmentation failures and poor nutrition. Um, there are a few things that will cause the color of the eggs to change. I've written it on my hand here, so I don't remember, forget what they are. There are a lack of zinc, copper or manganese. So again, get in with your, um, your poultry spice and your mineral and vitamin tonics. Right, the next one is the old favorite, shellless eggs. Now, sometimes you get these with where the outer membrane is still in place. Uh, and so it, it's like a, like a sort of floppy bag uh, or else you'll get them where there's just no membrane on, membrane on it at all. And there's just a yolk and an egg white laid in, uh, laid in your nest box. Well, there's a few reasons for this. Uh, one of them is if it's a young pullet, then again, the, uh, the um, uh, shell gland isn't working properly yet so it's just missed one as it's gone through and so you get yourself a nice yolk and egg white in the bottom of your nest box. Um, a viral 
infection. Again, you're back to Newcastle disease, infectious, infectious influenza, avian influenza, all those things can cause it. Um, the temperature too high in your hen house. So if you've got poor ventilation in the summer and you're finding that you're getting a lot of either thin shelled or, or floppy eggs, then more ventilation, get more air in there, let the birds cool down. It's stressing them. Back to that word stress again. Um, toxins. If your feed is old, uh, you may find that there are molds and spores in there. And an excess of these molds and spores can cause floppy shelled eggs. Obviously there are toxins in mold, uh, so you're just actually poisoning your birds. And so that's causing stress within the bird system and you're getting shellless eggs. Uh, the other cause obviously is the fact that the shell gland might be defective, might not be working. So in older birds, as the shell gland basically wears out as she's getting older, then you can get progressively more and more of these thin shelled or no shelled eggs at all. Right now for my, my favorite eggs, big eggs that look like corrugated cardboard on the outside. They're all wibbly wobbly, but, but they've got a proper shell on them. Now what's caused this is they're normally double yolkers or very big eggs and the membrane on the eggs is very, very thin because it's been stretched so much. So it's not capable of pulling the egg into shape. So it's plumping it up into an egg shape. And so it goes through the, the, the chicken system um, with not enough pressure in the egg to keep a proper shape. And so you get out, get this thing out, it looks like a sort of jelly bag, but with solid sides. Uh, there are other things that cause this. Uh, too many antibiotics. Um, Newcastle disease will cause it. Uh, defective shell gland, stress, the old stress again. Um, and if the bird is recovering from infectious bronchitis, then that'll cause that again. And sometimes you'll get, it'll run through a line of chickens. So if you've got a, a chicken that, that raises a brood, you may well find that some of her chicks have the same problem. Right, so the other type of funny shaped egg is the one I mentioned right at the beginning uh, from when birds first start laying is, is a tiny or a wind egg. Now, quite often this isn't actually an egg. Uh, it's a piece of tissue um, that's, that's from, from the chicken and the chicken's body will treat it as if it's an egg. So it's gonna put a membrane over it, it's gonna actually build it up and put a shell around it. And very often you'll find that when you, if you open a wind egg, there's actually nothing very much in it. Um, but the normal cause of wind eggs are birds just coming into lay that are coming in to be pullets. So they're being chicks coming into being pullets. The first eggs are wind eggs. Um, birds at the end of their laying period, again, the, the, everything winds down a bit. Uh, they're tired, the machinery's worn out, <laughs> they need a rest. Uh, and so you'll get these little wind eggs coming through. And with old birds as they're coming up to the end of their laying period completely again you'll get quite a few bits of sort of stray tissue come through that the body will treat as an egg now what you've got to remember with all these different types of eggs that these are all the biological reasons for the funny shapes the, the funny lumps bumps and everything else the main thing you've got to do with your birds is to make sure that you give them enough grit enough shell to make sure that they're at, they've got a constant source of calcium there. Give them a mineral and vitamin supplement all the time. Uh, and if you find, especially at the end of the winter when the light's very low, this sort of thing, um, birds need vitamin D3 uh, to produce, uh, to metabolize calcium within their body. Uh, and so it's a good thing to give them, if their eggs are a bit thin, give them some CalBoost, which is a, a liquid calcium and vitamin D3 supplement. And that'll normally perk them up and get the eggs a bit thicker, especially at the end of winter. Um, well, that's pretty much lumpy, bumpy, funny shaped eggs. Uh, on another day uh, in a while, we'll do funny shaped yolks, no yolk intended. Um, so that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching uh, Ask Phil. And hopefully, if I haven't bored you too much this week, I'll see you next week. 
Right, uh, we'll be back again next week. Um, so if you've got any questions that you'd like to ask Phil, uh, then please either email us on uh, info at flightsofancy.co.uk. Remember, that's flight with a Y. Uh, or go on our Facebook page and message, message us in. Um, if you're interested in any of the products that we've been showing you today, then uh, you can go on to uh, Flight So Fancy's website at www.flightsofancy.co.uk. All the products are there and lots and lots of useful information.